Hi guys, well um, those of you following my channel know that uh, I installed a 4 terabyte hard drive onto my Xbox the other day and prior to that I was using a 2 terabyte Western Digital drive. Now I mentioned in the previous video that what I was going to be doing was possibly taking that out and reformatting it for use with the PS4 or the Wii U. And what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be using it as a backup drive for the PS4 because I'm going to be doing an, uh, an install of a larger hard drive for the PS4 as well. But I'm not going to go into that here because what I'm interested in showing you today is basically how to get the Western Digital Drive or any external hard drive ready to be used with the PS4. Now, bear in mind, this can only be used as a backup drive. You can't actually install games and so on to it. You could actually use it for things like media, but as I say, you can't use it for games other than as a backup drive. But that being said, and without further ado, let's get on with it. So the first thing you need to do, and obviously you can't see that here, but I'm about to plug the drive into my USB. And nothing much will happen, apart from the light comes on on the drive. And then what you need to do is if you go to over to the bottom right hand, bottom left hand side, I should say. And this is in Windows 10, by the way. If you right click on the Windows symbol at the bottom left hand side, you'll see a menu come up. And what you want to choose there is disk management. Now, obviously, in different versions of Windows, you can get into disk management different ways. But this is what I'm doing here because I'm on Windows 10. So click on that. And that will open. And the first thing you'll see is it will say initialize disk. You must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. And it's showing as disk three. And that's the that's the drive that I've just plugged in. That's the Western Digital Drive. Now I'm going to be using this on the PlayStation. And I have read that some people have had problems with the GPT partition table. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, just to make sure that it will work, is change that to MBR, which is a, an older method of doing things. GPT is slowly taking over from Master Boot Record. So anyway, you're better off setting it to MBR as far as I'm aware. If anybody has had success using GPT, let me know in the comments below and we can discuss that and hopefully that can help some people out. But I'm going to go with the master boot record because, as I say, as, as far as I'm aware, that is the method that will work. So then you click on OK. And now if we scroll down, we should see that the drive will show up somewhere along the line. There you go. Disk three. So if you see Disk 4 here is my, one of my removable drives. We won't go into details on that. But disk 3 is the one you want because this is a 2 terabyte drive. And as you can see, it's 1862.98 gigabytes. Obviously, this, some of it's been used for, uh, well, <laughs> you get this with hard drives. They're never the full 2 terabytes or 4 terabytes or whatever might, you might be using. There's always a little bit less. So anyway, what you want to do from here is you want to right click on the drive and select new simple volume and it will come up with this wizard and if you click next and you want to make sure that this box down here is set to the maximum because basically you want it all set to one single partition we're not messing about with multiple partitions so from there click next and you can allow the assigned drive letter for the time being, it will be F. And next. And here, you don't want to be using NTFS as far as I'm aware. So change that to XFAT. It's not giving me the option for FAT32. And I don't know, do we want to give it a volume, num a volume name? Let's call it PS4 Backup. OK, and you can do a quick format as far as I'm aware, or you can do a full format. Let's go with a, a quick format for the time being. And finish. 
And there you go. And it's doing a computer scan automatically for me. <laughs> My virus scanner. And there's nothing in there at the moment. So that now should be, well, it's readable on Windows. It should be readable on virtually anything, really. And you can use it as a backup drive for your PS4, which is what I want to be using it for. So hopefully that'll be of some use to you guys. And my next step is to <laughs> show you the backup. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to do that here. Uh, let's keep this to decent, short, manageable videos. But yeah, that's it for that. And I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye.